The universe is full of mysteries, and one of the most intriguing phenomena is the black hole. It is said that ancient Hindu scriptures, the Puranas, also describe this cosmic wonder. According to Hindu mythology, the universe is infinite, and it is said to be made up of countless celestial bodies. But among all these celestial bodies, there is one entity that has puzzled the minds of many as the black hole. According to the Puranas, there is a place called Rahu Kethu which is known as the abode of the demons. It is said that this place is a black hole. The demons are said to enter this black hole and come out from the other side, causing havoc in the universe. The Puranas describe the black hole as a place of immense power and energy, where time and space are distorted. The black hole's intense gravity pulls in everything, including light, making it impossible to escape its clutches. But the Puranas also talk about a way to escape the black hole's gravity. It is said that by chanting the name of Lord Vishnu, one can escape the black hole and attain salvation. The black hole has fascinated scientists and mystics alike for centuries. And even though we have learned a lot about this cosmic phenomenon, there is still so much more to discover. As we gaze into the infinite expanse of the universe, let us remember the words of the Puranas, which remind us of the interconnectedness of all things and the eternal nature of existence. The black hole is a phenomenon that has been described in many ancient Hindu texts like the Puranas. In another story, the black hole is referred to as Krishnamritu, which means the dark death. The Puranas describe the black hole as a place of immense darkness, where time and space cease to exist. When a star collapses and its mass becomes too heavy, it turns into a black hole. The gravitational force of a black hole is so strong that it sucks in everything that comes within its reach, including light. Lord Shiva, the destroyer, is said to have control over the black hole. In Hindu mythology, Shiva is depicted with a crescent moon on his forehead, and it is said that this moon is the representation of a black hole. Devotees believe that praying to Lord Shiva can protect them from the dangers of the black hole. They also believe that Shiva can grant them liberation from the cycle of birth and death, just like a black hole destroys everything that comes in its path. The black hole is still a mystery to scientists. But it has been a part of Hindu mythology for centuries. It is a reminder of the vastness and complexity of the universe, and the power of nature that we can only begin to understand. The black hole may remain a mystery, but the faith of devotees in Lord Shiva continues to thrive. The concept of the black hole has been mentioned in many ancient Hindu texts. One of these texts described the Narakasura as a bottomless pit, with an insatiable appetite for all matter and energy. According to Hindu Puranas, the universe is a vast and complex system, with multiple layers and dimensions. At the center of this system lies a black hole, known as the Narakasura, which is believed to be the gateway to the lower worlds. The sages who wrote these texts believed that the Narakasura was not just a physical phenomenon, but also a spiritual one. To appease the black hole and prevent it from consuming the universe, the sages advised performing pujas and yagnas to please the gods and goddesses. The yagnas were believed to create positive energy and vibrations that would counteract the negative effects of the black hole. In addition to performing yagnas and pujas, the sages also recommended meditation as a way to connect with the divine and transcend the physical realm. Despite the warnings of the sages, Black holes continue to be one of the most destructive forces in the universe. 
When a star collapses and becomes a black hole, it can devour everything in its path, including light itself. In the end, I would like to mention that the black hole looms large in the center of the universe, a constant reminder of the delicate balance between creation and destruction. Thank you for watching. Do comment with your thoughts on black hole and piranhas.